I had another inquiry about this life. Sometimes it feels more like a game to me because I'm raising my frequency, getting into the wish fulfilled and basically do whatever I want to do and think. But sometimes it feels more like a movie to me that I have already made all the choices I want to make and I'm just living it. It's just happening no matter... I mean, I have the free will, but that free will has already been um, done. I mean, it has been already even chosen. So I'm just living right now, just like a replay of I watch a movie. So I don't know which one it is. <laughs> it is both. Yeah. In a sense, that is correct in my experience. So the thing is, you're not randomly here. You didn't just get born. So there was already an intention in place. There was already a theme in place. There was very carefully planned, is very carefully planned. Because in a non-time-based illusion, meaning from a non-linear point of view, you right now are co-writing this with yourself as we speak. But from a linear point of view, you could say prior to your incarnation, you very carefully planned the components of your life, location on earth, parents, history, ancestry, conditioning, most likely events to occur in childhood, and all that stuff. To a great degree of precision, some higher selves choose less precision, others choose great precision and accuracy. So for some people, it may really feel like they're kind of on this train track because it's been so richly programmed. And others may feel more like, hmm, I don't know, what should I do today? Um, I don't really know who I am, or let me just bump into some things and explore who I am. So it depends a little bit on the purpose of the incarnation and the theme. But in a sense, yes, the, a movie doesn't just start shooting. There's first a script, there's directors, there's actors being hired. It is like that. But how the exact movie unfolds and how it is produced and all the impromptu improv that's happening on stage and the chemistry between the characters and the lessons that they learn and how they respond to each other. That is what's fresh. That's what's up to your free will. Now, the director or the script writer is also you and it exists simultaneously. So it's, we're talking about lots of parallel timelines and versions of yourself that are all, that are all um, communicating with each other in a variety of ways that kind of boggles the mind. So, even though, yes, there is a certain sort of general script in place or a theme because you want to fulfill certain intentions and lessons and evolutions. That's why you came to balance certain things, to give certain things to the world, to others, to expand upon the creator's ways of knowing itself in particular ways unique to your soul's disposition. So, yes, there is a script in place. Yes, there is a hallway. It's a wide hallway, but it is a hallway that you'll go down. And like Bashar says, sometimes you can either go down through this hallway, scraping your knees and nails on the floor, getting dragged from one end to the other by your higher self as you resist everything that happens. Or you can soar and fly and joyfully go left and right as you go down that hallway. How you go down that hallway is up to you. What you learn out of it and how rich the lessons that you learn and what you contribute and radiant and how much joy you experience, how much you enjoy your path or suffer your path is up to you. But yes, a lot of the things are programmed. Doesn't mean they're solid. Doesn't mean they're set in stone. It just means they are probabilities that at any point in time, they can shift depending on choices you made prior to that intersection point. So if you see your life kind of like a multidimensional script, but at any point, like almost every moment is like an intersection moment. You can go left, right, straight, da, da, da. And based on the choices that you make, based on the vibrations you align to, based on the ways you interpret what's presented to you in that moment, positively or negatively, you'll be taken up higher and higher timelines with greater and greater freedom to communicate with your higher self what it is you do desire and in what ways you do desire it because you're becoming more aware, more mature, and therefore a better co-creator with your own higher self. But if you're kind of like in the slumps of your own experience, resisting everything that happens, negatively interpreting events, believing things aren't possible, feeling like the victim of your circumstances, poor old me, like it's just a script and it's just a movie. I don't have any free will. If you're not collaborating with your own plan, your own plan, get this people. If you're not collaborating with your own desires, your own script, you wrote it, you're writing it right now. 
If you're not collaborating with it, that's not a very healthy environment or relationship. There's not a lot of room for negotiation there. There's not a lot of room for refreshment. The refreshment rate of your life is going to be slow and dead and dense. But if you get over yourself with love and light and acceptance, understand yourself and aim for the highest interpretation of all the events that come your way, knowing that they are on their way to the fulfillment of your destiny every second, more and more, more and more enjoyable. Now you're sawing out all those frozen compartments of your free will of conditioning and programming. And it's actually becoming more available to you consciously. You can actually co direct the movie now but only first if we're in agreement with it and the victim state will never agree with its own creations this it's one of the bummers of the victim state i mean there's a lot of perks to being a victim one is it's not your fault which is a great feeling um you know there's a lot of perks to being a victim but it doesn't work that well it doesn't work that well for really creating really stepping into the life that you designed for yourself it's keeping at bay a lot of the joy so at some point we got to just accept that this is what we chose to be and go with it and then once we go with it we can direct the flow we have say in the matter so yes it's a movie but it's a movie with intersections at any point and it's got a lot of parallel different alternate endings it's a very dynamic movie it's more like a video game than a movie Yes, there's programmed elements in a video game. Those are the elements you will deal with. But which ones you avoid, which ones you encounter, how you deal with the ones you encounter, that's all up to you. That sounds fun. It is. Yeah. And when it's not, just accept it. Just use it as a learning. Surrender to God. Surrender to your own higher self. Extract the lesson. Accept yourself. Don't beat yourself up about it and get back into alignment, interpret events positively, revise your past until you get back into a feeling state like this is good. It's all happening for me, not to me. I want this somehow. And everything is possible for me. Everything is possible. The script is just here to inspire us to be free of the script, truly. The script is just because we get born under the veil of illusion the veil of forgetfulness we get born to conditioning of our parents and our environment and higher self knows without any structure we're not going to have any or idea of what our original plan is so it needs to program these things otherwise there is no guidance otherwise there is no trajectory otherwise you wouldn't be here today my friend you wouldn't be having this conversation with me everything got you to this point in your life so but then the trick is the idea is that it's there, it's programmed to help you inspire and evoke free will. It's not there to numb your free will and just so oh, I'm on a train track. It's no, how can I co-create this? What do I really want? What am I made of at a soul level? What are my imbalances? What am I looking forward to? What is the lesson I wanna learn? Who is the being I truly wish to be? How can I close the gap between my soul and the God state? How can I get become a close representation of the pure love and light and power of the one infinite creator? Once you start asking those questions with true meditative attunement, you will begin to co-shape and co-create and alter everything you've programmed for yourself. That's when free will truly takes on a new tone, a new level. And sometimes we're just meant to feel a little stuck here. That's part of the play in third density. And how do we deal with feeling stuck? We're not really stuck, but how do we deal with the feeling, the apparent illusion that's only possible in third density? of feeling stuck. How do we deal with that? That's the unique opportunity here. So we have to accept some degree of limitation. We didn't come here to be limitless beings. If we want to experience full limitlessness, we wouldn't have chosen earth. So there is a reason, there is a joy, there is a beauty in choosing some measure of limitation and occasionally just feeling like a victim of creation and feeling like you can't go anywhere. That is part of the game that we're here to play sometimes. We don't have to just linger there and turn it into an identity crisis, but we do want to have the opportunity to experience limitation, to see what is our true freedom. Is it truly about not experiencing this emotion or not being stuck in this event, or is freedom something else? Can I use self-discovery and self-actualization, self-realization 
when I'm in a situation that I feel stuck in? Can I still realize myself? Can I still actualize love? Can I still find that magical choice in this moment that will bust the whole thing open and remove all the prison walls that I've seemingly put in place for myself to learn precisely this lesson of transcendence in the midst of limitation? Does that help? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.